range of high quality nutrition products cater to different nutritional needs and goals and it is backed by science and research recently we also launched two products apple chamomile herbal life concentrate powder mix and simply probiotic mix both are doing extremely well in the country with our support of our members our nutrition products are available exclusively through dedicated herbal life independent members around the world even in philippines our members work in the community and through nutrition clubs to promote our products and healthy active lifestyle a program under the herbal life nutrition foundation hnf which also aims to improve the lives of the children we have many casa herbal life around the world including in philippines we work closely with sos village today this e wellness tour we call it highlights the emphasize importance of nutrition weight management and boosting immune health in celebration of the nutrition month the e wellness tour activity with herbal life nutrition advisory board member dr chin kun wang from taiwan will be anchored on the nutrition myth survey in asia pacific region conducted last month the result of the survey will address the current myths that the apac region has corrections will be made to the misconception about nutrition part of the discussion will focus on metabolism managing weight immune health topics with tangible connection to nutrition our nutrition expert will provide valuable information on why immunity is the best defense against illnesses these insights are very much relevant during this situation through this activity herbal life's commitment to helping people live a better lives through the power of good nutrition can be further amplified i want to acknowledge the support of my team the apac team for organizing this event i would like to thank everyone who came here to join our discussion despite despite this challenging times encountered around the world let us continue uh, sharing the good nutrition and healthy active lifestyle have a good day and i'm sure that today's interaction will help us to understand nutrition better thank you very much and back to chami thank you so much shidar yeah um thank you for that uh, updates about the company and i just want you to know we have about 45 at the minimum 45 media who are uh here with us already um thank you so uh, much sharing to the our good media friends and healthy activity for lifestyle. uh joining us day. this morning i'm sure that today's uh, we have representatives of, of course we have majority of the media that we have this morning are from the national capital region specifically here in metro manila uh in nearby areas but we also have um we also have representative as far as iloilo bacolod um of course the bacolod press club at uh, the negros press club in bacolod uh they're having a watch party in their office now and then we have representative in from cebu uh we have media coming as uh from cagayan de oro in mindanao so thank you so much for joining us okay and i'd like to acknowledge also the presence of uh the herbalife team who are here with us also uh the herbalife nutrition philippines um marketing they are here with us we also have a uh, herbalife nutrition uh marketing team from um from taiwan and of course from the asia pacific we also have representatives from the asia pacific uh herbalife nutrition so welcome and thank you for joining us in this uh e wellness tour for the media okay so without further ado i'd like to uh introduce our marketing manager for herbalife philippines miss marie segismundo who will give an introduction about our guest for today thank you charm good afternoon everyone 
the attendance is so overwhelming. Thank you so much for joining us today. And it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker for this uh, day's event. He is a distinguished professor in Chungshan Medical University, a former president of International Society of Nutritionals and Functional Foods, ISNFF, fellow of International Academy of Food Science and Technology, ISNFF, Honorary President of Nutrition Society of Taiwan, Chair of Global Incident Alert Network Global Harmonization Initiative. He got his doctorate or PhD degree from National Taiwan University and worked at Chungshan Medical University in 1993. In 1996, he was promoted as a full professor and then took the positions of chair, dean, vice president, and president in Chungshan Medical University. His research work is focused on human clinical trials and human metabolism of medicine. His re, uh, medicine, uh, nutritional supplements, nutritionals, herbs, and functional food. He got the national award of biomedicine for his great contribution to the medical education in 2008. He was also honored as 2012 to 2020 who's who in the world who's who in Asia in 2009 to 2010, 2011 to 2019, who's who in medicine and healthcare. For food safety and nutrition, he promoted the legislation for school sanitary law and national nutrition law. During the food safety problem in Taiwan, he joined as uh, the director of ILSI or International Life Science Institute Taiwan and chair of Global Harmonization Initiative to communicate with the media and press. He believes that scientific evidence is the best support for food safety and world nutrition problem. And in the future, he tries his best to work together with the scientists around the world by network. A member of Nutrition Advisory Board of Herbalife Nutrition, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dr. Professor Chin Kung Wang. Hi, Makangtan Umaga. <laughs> yeah, Maria, thank you very much for your very kind introduction. Uh, it's my great pleasure um, uh, to introduce some uh, new nutritional knowledge uh, today. Uh, I think uh, media uh, is a very important uh, for our society. So today, uh, I would like to introduce uh, about uh, uh, the body weight uh, uh, management and also uh, about uh, uh, boosting the immune system. So excuse me, can, uh, can you uh, uh, give me the presentation file? Oh, I, I put it online. Okay, excuse me, can you see the slides? Hi, so excuse me, anybody answer me? Dr. Wang, yes. uh, you, you have shared already your slides. I think okay. uh, please share your slides and the uh, admin will flash it on screen. All right. Okay. Let me try. Sorry. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Great. All right. Yeah. So I will save the time. Uh, actually, today I will, will introduce about uh, managing our weight and also boosting the immune health. Uh, the time is very limited. I'm sorry, I wasted two minutes. <laughs> All right. So uh, actually, uh, I'm the member of uh, the health and nutrition experts uh, world, worldwide. Uh, and I'm the member uh, of NAB of Herbal Life. Uh, yeah. So uh, before my talk, I would like to share uh, every one of you about the survey. 
uh, this survey was conducted uh, with uh, 5,500 respondents uh, from different countries, of course, including uh, Philippines. Yeah, in this March. Yeah, of course, I would like to share uh, how is the situation uh, about the nutritional knowledge in Philippines. The first I would like to see uh, uh, for average in uh, APEC area, uh, the, uh, the uh, general nutrition score is uh, 23%, but for Philippines uh, is 19%. So we can see the real problem. Uh, maybe we can give more nutrition knowledge uh, to Filipinos. Uh, the second, uh, I think most uh, uh, Filipinos, uh, they are not well informed on nutrition uh, knowledge. Uh, this is the other survey results. And for here, uh, for the balanced nutrition is important among Filipino consumers. Uh, so for example, uh, the, most, uh, the, uh, the most important one is how to achieve balanced nutrition in daily life is very high, almost uh, 60%. And then uh, it's about uh, how to improve uh, element conditions through nutrition and also uh, managing weight through nutrition. So from the information, basically we know uh, most of Filipinos, uh, they know uh, the importance of the nutrition. And we can see here, for the especially for the balanced nutrition is important among Filipino consumers. Uh, and also uh, the response is very high, almost 70%. Uh, but I will show you uh, some uh, beliefs or myths on nutritional sources in, uh, from Philippines. The first is about that fruits and uh, vitamin C can, uh, some, uh, supplements can help increase the immune and resistance to infection. Uh, over 90% uh, of the Filipinos uh, they believe it's true, but I can tell you it's really true. And then I will show you uh, this is uh, the other one uh, for the uh, protein uh, uh, protein supply after exercise. They can help the body re uh, rebuild the muscle. Uh, and also over 80% of Filipinos, they believe. And of course, this is true. Yeah, but I, I would like uh, to show you uh, the other uh, beliefs and also myths in nutritional science. Uh, but I have to emphasize here, um, some of them, uh, the knowledge is correct, but some of them uh, maybe is not so correct. For example, uh, one uh, important issue that is about the protein powder is not a healthy source of protein as compared to the protein from natural foods. Uh, I believe uh, uh, maybe some Filipinos, uh, they do not trust, but I can tell you, this is a myth, actually. Uh, the statement is wrong. And I can also tell you uh, uh, some of the other Philippines uh, believe, for example, uh, fats can help the body to absorb vitamins. Yes, the statement is right. And also fat provide the body uh, with energy. Of course, it's true. But I would like to remind you uh, some kind of uh, uh, nutritional energy uh, is, is forced. For example, you need sufficient calcium intake uh, at any age to optimize peak bone mass or bone health. Uh, most uh, Philippine uh, friends, they say yes, but no, this is the wrong one, it's false. Yeah, basically uh, the calcium intake uh, is dependent uh, with the bone uh, density, but the, the peak bone mass is around uh, 30 years old. Yeah, than old uh, any age. And the other one, uh, you will need not end up eating uh, too much sodium. Uh, so uh, maybe you do not so your food actually is also a force. So from many, many kinds of uh, uh, belief or means, uh, I can summarize uh, something here. Uh, so for example, a carbohydrate makes you uh, uh, gain weight. Uh, of course, it's wrong. Uh, our gain weight is based on the calorie intake. Okay, the second. This protein is required as we grow older. No, it's also a force. Uh, basically, when we grow older, we need more protein and high quality protein. The third uh, is about uh, uh, caffeine uh, causes uh, dehydration. 
no, uh, he, uh, coffee uh, actually is allowed to drink every day about two to three cups, no problem, uh, no dehydration problem. Uh, the fourth, uh, just I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, the calcium supplementation, yeah, uh, you know, uh, is equal to the uh, bone mass. Uh, I, I, I have explained to you. And the other one, uh, now I believe is very also hot around the world, that is a ketogenic diet. Is a healthy way uh, to lose weight? Uh, actually, it's also not uh, a, a truth. It's also a force. Uh, ketogenetic uh, diet, uh, basically, uh, just uh, eat very, very few carbohydrates, but moderate protein and very high amounts of fats. But sometimes, if you cannot control well, uh, all the uh, ketone bodies will uh, damage your body. Yeah. And also, uh, a very low fat diet is the best way to lose weight, of course, uh, as I said to you. The most important is calorie. And the, uh, the other one is a uh, GI value. Uh, GI value, uh, this is a very good idea. However, it's not uh, a very good indicator to adjust the carbohydrate results. And also the last one, the protein powder is not a healthy source of a protein as compared to, uh, uh, to the protein from natural uh, foods. Uh, I will uh, explain nature. All right, so uh, from here we can see uh, uh, all the information about the nutritional knowledge too much uh, misinformation yeah, online. So we know um, internet is very popular now. So everyone, they can get the information uh, from the website, but most of uh, uh, the information, uh, they are false, they are uh, misinformation. So we have to emphasize uh, these key points. And I have to, uh, uh, I will show you, uh, most uh, consumers, they can get the uh, nutrition knowledge uh, from the social media. Yeah. And, I think uh, uh, we cannot uh, pay attention to the influence of the social media. Yeah, and uh, from the, all the information, basically uh, most uh, uh, Filipinos, they can trust the, the healthy care professional uh, over uh, 70%, uh, but all, almost 50% 50, 50 from the nutritional company, or 40% from the media publication and also website. All right. so. After that, uh, maybe uh, you can understand uh, how is the current situation uh, about the nutritional analogy in the Philippines. But uh, today, I would like uh, to talk about the facts. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, uh, recent, uh, recently because of COVID-19, we know the immune system is very important. But uh, I will uh, give you 10 rules in boosting the immune health. The first, and also the most important, that is a high quality protein supply. Please do not forget high quality protein supply is the most important for immune health. The second, uh, I will encourage uh, uh, all the friends, whole serious intake, that's very important because uh, they can supply uh, different kinds of vitamin B complex and vegetable fruits and mushroom. Yeah, they are also important in this period. And the other uh, garlic, onion and ginger uh, into diets is also very important action in this period. And the fifth item, uh, I think this one is quite important in this timing. Uh, less oil and fried foods, please remember. If you reduce 20% of oil intake every day, this can help you to increase 40% of immune function. Yeah, so this is quite important. Wow. Yeah, and the sixth one, this is less sugar intake. Uh, if you can prevent to drink or eat sugar added drink or foods, for example, every day reduce 100 grams of sugar intake, we are increase 50% of the white blood cell function. Oh, so uh, you have to, uh, to know to uh, in, uh, promote or uh, to maintain your immune uh, function and the oil and also sugar tech should be limited in this period. And uh, the seventh is about the supply of probiotics because probiotics actually, uh, it pre, uh, they play important roles for our gut health. 
So gut is the first place for our health. So probiotic supply is very important. And the, uh, uh, the A slightly is about the um, uh, multiple vitamins and mineral, uh, minerals of supplements. Yeah, I think it's required in this period, especially for the immune health. And the nice, this is my personal uh, recommendation. Every day, at least one apple or one pear. And the last, that's very, very basic. Uh, you need to remember hydration. Hydration is very important. All right, so if you know the 10 rules, and then I will introduce a term that is metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome, uh, actually, this is a, a, a very beginning of different kinds of disease. Usually because of most people, uh, uh, they have poor physical activity and also uh, they uh, will intake a high energy diet. So they have a, a hypertension problem, also abnormal blood lipids and hyperglycemia and even induce overweight and obesity. So uh, different kinds of disease risk will be increased. So um, this is very easy to recognize. Uh, if uh, any three of the five items you have, it means you will suffer from the metabolic syndrome. But metabolic syndrome, actually, it is not disease. This is a one kind of syndrome, but it's very close to disease. The first issue, uh, this is the central obesity. Uh, it means the waist uh, circumferences. Yeah. So for men, if uh, the waist is greater than uh, 90 centimeters, for women, uh, it's greater than uh, 80 centimeters. If you have catch the criteria, it means you have this issue. The second is the uh, blood pressure. Uh, no matter the systolic pressure or dystonic pressure, uh, one greater than uh, 130 or the other one greater than 85 millimeter. Any one of them, uh, you also catch this uh, uh, issue. The third one is a uh, high density lipoprotein cholesterol. Uh, we know this is a uh, so-called uh, good cholesterol. For men, if the value is less than 40 mg per DL, for women is less than uh, 50 mg per DL, uh, it means also uh, catch this item. The fourth is a fasting glucose. Uh, fasting glucose, uh, it means uh, after dinner and uh, in the second morning before breakfast, if the value is greater than 100 mg per DL, it means also catch this criteria. The last one is uh, triglyceride. When the triglyceride, of course, is also after fasting, uh, when Tg is greater than 150 milligram per DL, it also means uh, you, have, uh, you, you have this uh, criteria. So any three of the five items, if you have, it means you have the metabolic syndrome. Yeah, so it's very easy to judge. Yeah, but the first one I have to emphasize is the uh, waste circumference. Uh, 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 circumferences. Yeah, because uh, uh, many patients come to me, uh, even they have very big abdominal. They say to me, oh yeah, uh, uh, my waist uh, uh, circumferences is very, very, very low. <laughs> Why? Because they do not measure at the correct uh, uh, side. Uh, basically, <clears throat> uh, to, to rule uh, the waist, uh, you have to touch your uh, rib, rib bone. Uh, the, last, the lowest one rib bone uh, also we call that is the costal bone. And the other bone, that is a, a yardic bone, uh, the first. So the, the center of the two points, yeah, you can uh, use the rule. This is very exactly observed. All right. So uh, usually for the metabolic syndrome, <coughs> uh, they have, uh, there are several clinical status. For example, overweight obesity. The second, insulin resistant. The third is poor glucose intolerance and also hyperlipidemia, also blood coagulating problem, and uh, uh, hyperuricemia. Uh, okay, so actually, uh, if you see, uh, this is the iceberg theory. Yeah, uh, you can see this is uh, the ice above the sea. Yeah, so uh, actually, this is disease. But metabolic syndrome actually is the iceberg yeah, under the sea. So this is a potential risk. So from uh, this uh, photo, uh, you can understand well. So if you have a metabolic syndrome, the CVD uh, risk will in increase in for men about three times, for women uh, almost 2.2 times. Uh, the diabetes risk is also very high, almost seven times. 
but uh, also need to pay attention. Uh, uh, dementia and also depression also greatly increased when you suffer from the metabolic syndrome. Yeah, so after my um, introduction, maybe you, you should know how to prevent the metabolic syndrome is very important. Yeah, so yeah, this is the risk e evaluation. Yeah, actually we know, oh, we need exercise. We need a very good uh, meal plan and also no smoking, uh, how to reduce the social stress. All right, but one of the most important that is obesity. But usually when we see the obesity, uh, two types are the major. The first the type, that is the apple type. Yeah, apple type, this is a very dangerous one, high risk. The other one is pear type. Pear type, it means the low parts is obese. But apple type, that is very high risk. Yeah, for example, you see <laughs> uh, some people just like this. Uh, maybe you, you feel uh, uh, they are very full, but you know, still hungry. Yeah, and you see, <laughs> uh, they, they say so sorry to each other yeah, because they have a very <laughs> big abdomal, just like uh, a pregnant boy. <laughs> yeah, and if you have a girlfriend like this, yeah, uh, the car is too small <laughs> to pick up. <laughs> and you see, uh, this is uh, some kinds of obese uh, uh, example. Yeah, so the chair is too small. <laughs> and you can see this is in the fry. If you are lucky enough, maybe you can see next to an obesity guy. I ever, I ever had that experience. My goodness, oh, how can I sit behind him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have to uh, emphasize, uh, obesity rate actually now grow very faster in Asia uh, than in the West, uh, Western countries. Yeah, so uh, I believe this is because of the economic growth uh, in Asian area. So we have to pay great attention. But how to uh, control the body weight? Yeah, you see uh, somebody say that, oh, the body weight management, yeah, we can measure. How is the body weight? Okay, of course, different kinds of Tanita scales. Uh, I think uh, one uh, BMI is very uh, Formula One, a uh, very, uh, very uh, typical one and also body fat percentage. But uh, maybe if we have time, I can talk more. Uh, this is a different kinds of uh, uh, body mass index. Uh, usually BMI is very uh, uh, variable and useful. Uh, usually BMI value uh, in the range, normal range, uh, is uh, from uh, uh, 18 to 24. If overweight, usually uh, from 24 to 27. For obesity, yeah, usually greater than uh, 27, but uh, serious obesity, maybe uh, greater than 30, and very, very, very obese, that is uh, 30, greater than uh, 35. Yeah, uh, we have to know the body weight, uh, actually, uh, that is associated with the total uh, body fat. And also uh, the body fat, also uh, proper uh, to the BMI value. All right. So BMI is important uh, for obesity. So from uh, the two one, you can see which one is obese. But BMI is not useful for individual. Uh, you know, this is the movie star <laughs> uh, when he was young and the current situation, you cannot compare. Now the BMI value is less than the past, but in the past, uh, he was very strong and also a lot of muscle, but now, uh, the, all the muscle disappear. All right, so how to measure uh, the fat distribution? Uh, uh, MRI uh, is the best uh, uh, tool. Uh, just see through, uh, tra transparent our body. Yeah, so body fat, uh, you can see, especially the green uh, green one or the white one, this is the uh, uh, body fat, yeah. So usually uh, for normal weight, uh, no normal uh, waist, uh, what's the reason why waste? Because waste sometimes can respond. Uh, how is the body fat in your body? Uh, yeah, but you can see, oh, this is a, a very typical uh, MRI photos. Yeah, from here, you should know which one is has high risk. Uh, if the white area, uh, actually, this is the fat, fat tissue. If the portions are, uh, are high, it means this is a high risk. Uh, but uh, this is a very, uh, specific term uh, that is toffee. Uh, toffee means thin outside but fat inside. Yeah. 
So uh, sometimes uh, uh, for some people, they do uh, look very uh, slim, but actually the inside fat uh, counters is very high. It's also high risk population. Uh, and also almost 16% for men and also 12% 12, 12 for women. All right, so uh, to, to control the body weight, uh, you know, many, many kinds of measures. For example, uh, the vibrating bands. Some people, they said to me, oh, because of the uh, vibra vibrating band can help them to lose the fat. No, impossible. Oh, soap. Oh, they can see uh, after using the soap, a lot of oil um, froze away. No, this is water. <laughs> and this is tea. Yeah, we know tea, they can help to um, dehydration. Yeah, so uh, it's also not to remove the fat portion. Now, this is uh, some kind of uh, local plants. But usually, this kind of uh, uh, local plants, sometimes they have serious side effects. Okay, and some of them they trust uh, medication, but medication usually um, uh, they, they, they use the purpose of uh, appetite suppression, suppression, but they always they have uh, different kinds of side effects. And also some friends said to me, oh, liposuction is very convenient, but you know, the risk is very high because you can see the, the cannula uh, will move into the tissue after uh, blinding, and all the uh, uh, fat tissue together with the blood uh, will be sucked up. Yeah, but it's very high risk. Oh, this is the other one. This is acupuncture, but I don't think it's so good. Yeah. All right. So, suggestion for body weight control smart eating, happy motion, uh, also the very important weight every day and change that lifestyle. Yeah. So, uh, usually diet control, exercise, stress, stress relief. Yeah, so uh, the last one I would like to show, uh, this is a, a, a live uh, a general clinical trial. Uh, in this study, they enrolled uh, the subjects with the metabolic syndrome. Yeah, and we would like to see if when we give them the uh, protein-rich meal replacement, how is the uh, body weight loss? And of course, here is very easy. They use the uh, shake mixture together with the uh, uh, protein powder. And of course, all the subjects we enroll in the open clinics. And I will show you, we compare uh, two groups. One is protein-rich diet. Uh, it means uh, by using the protein replacement. Uh, and the other one is conventional diet. And they, they just reduce the calorie uh, intake every day. But uh, in the uh, former three months, uh, every day, every subject, they have two uh, meal replacement including uh, the breakfast and also lunch. Uh, and also in the uh, morning and afternoon, they yes, have a go in the And on every day they have a one and meal. I will show you, every we compare. Uh, uh, after groups. three, one is uh, protein uh, rich diet. Uh, it only means one uh, using the replacement protein lunch. Replacement. Uh, but the, the other one is, uh, the dinner dinner is normal. Uh, they just reduce okay. the calorie so, uh, 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 I will show you, uh, uh, we will measure uh, in the uh, house uh, for almost three, three months. Uh, uh, fat every day, every subject, they have three meals. Through, uh, meal but from the results, including the breakfast and also lunch. Uh, and and also side, in the this is uh, morning and lunch time, they have a yeah. protein rich time. Uh, every day they have a one meal. I will show you with we compare. Uh, 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 after three, one is protein uh, rich diet. Uh, and uh, one is the replacement. And the major one, we will like the first dinner is normal. They just reduce the calorie. This is the effect. I will show you how we will measure in the house the body weight loss. Three months in France, every day, every subject, they have a meal But from the results, including show you can read the results of the results. Uh, and and the also, side, the, this is the morning and lunch time. They have a yeah. yeah. protein rich time every day. They have a one meal. I will show you with low percent. After three, one is protein rich time. They have a one meal. For the conventional and the major one, we will have the first dinner time. No, they just use. I will give you this. I will show you this kind of life we will measure in the south. Before three months, in France, every day, lunch time, they have a one meal. 
uh, but from the results, uh, including uh, you can uh, the uh, 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 you do it, uh, 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 this is only an average time. I will show you with law experience. After this and the major one we will like the first. And the I will show you the color in the south for almost three months. In but I will take that in my next From the results, including show you the correct first. If you do it, my last time, this is only an average time. I brought in which time every day. I will not show you with law experience. This is my entry one. And the major one to the other first. And the I will uh, follow the rules. Yeah. Uh, sorry, because the time is very limited. <laughs> uh, I would like to say so much, but I, I, I'm sure um, uh, everything I told to you, this is uh, from the scientific evidence uh, from my group. Actually, I have a very uh, big group. Now my group is about uh, 25 uh, steps, including several associate professors, assistant professor, and also six postdoc fellow and also uh, the PhD student, a master student, and also research assistants. Okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, during the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, wish every one of you stay safe and good health. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Dr. Wang. Um, this is a very beautiful presentation. It's very informative. Uh, we picked up a lot and we've seen your effort, how you, you have been able to make it a concise but um, presentation that is very much understandable to us. So um, I think um, our media friends are very eager to ask Research questions assistance. to you. So, okay. Brian, you our admin, uh, can the, you start uh, flashing some uh, of the questions? Pandemic. Uh, wish every one of you stay safe and good health. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, we'll yeah. wait for Thank the, you so much, for Dr. The Wang. First question. Um, this is a very Okay, Dr. Wang will fl flash the questions okay. on the screen. Okay, the first question is from Mr. Alan Balmaceda of Corner Magazine. How does good nutrition impact metabolism? All right, uh, actually uh, in my talk, I emphasize always uh, about uh, uh, balanced nutrition. So if uh, your uh, diet, your nutrition supply uh, is based on the balanced uh, uh, way. I think this is so-called a good nutrition impact. Yeah, because only under a very good balanced nutrition, they can impact uh, your human, uh, your body metabolism, and also very good to your health. Okay. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Wang. We have a next question. Questions are just coming in. I can't believe that there's so, so many questions right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So number two, um, what are the ways to improve or speed up one's metabolic, me metabolic process, especially for ages 40 years old and above? This is a question from Mr. Justin Adrales, Chinese Commercial News. Okay, this is a very good question. Uh, basically, the first I would like to suggest uh, to well control the body weight. Yeah. And also the second thing, uh, you have to uh, uh, maintain very healthy uh, uh, physical activity. Yeah, because uh, most uh, people, if their metabolic uh, process is poor, is usually because of very poor physical activity. Yeah, uh, but please do not treat the physical activity as very, very difficult things. Uh, actually, uh, a very easy uh, physical activity, that is uh, walking. Walking is very easy, Yeah, but walking, uh, you also need to uh, regulate your breathing. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, talking and uh, uh, walking and talking. 
Yeah, if you walk and talk, it doesn't work. But if you only walk by your own way, uh, every day, I think 30 minutes are very enough for you and also can speed up your metabolic process. Trust me, every day, if you have only the purpose for walking 30 minutes, uh, your meta metabolic process actually can be speed up. Thank you so much. Just 30 minutes, it can change. It can speed up the metabolic process. That's very informative. So we'll go next to the to question number three. Okay. What are the essential nutrients required by the body to further boost immune health? It's from Ms. Leomi Sanchez, Bloggers Philippines. Okay, uh, I think uh, this is a very critical and important uh, question, especially uh, in the pandemic period. Yeah, we know for immune, uh, good immune is very uh, good for us to protect our body from uh, the COVID-19, all different kinds of virus or bacterial attack. And the essential, essential nutrients required uh, to boost the immune health. The first, as I mentioned earlier, the first, that is the protein, high quality, uh, high quality protein. Uh, but I have to say, protein, if you take the uh, right protein, uh, but you have to intake high quality protein every day, at least uh, uh, three times. Uh, one is for breakfast, one is for lunch, the other one is for dinner, and every time, uh, the high quality proteins, uh, I suggest that the mass amount, uh, amounts are 25 to 30 grams. Yeah, because um, the absorption of the protein for our human body is limited uh, because of the kidney ability capacity. Yeah, the second, of course, you need to uh, some other mic uh, micronutrients, for example, some other uh, vitamins and minerals and also uh, you need some uh, uh, phytochemicals from the fruits and vegetables. And the third, uh, you need to uh, hydrate, hydration, enough hydration every day. Yeah, um, so what is a hydration? Hydration, uh, you, it means uh, you need to drink uh, all the time. Uh, please do not feel thirsty. If you feel thirsty, actually, uh, you have some uh, prob uh, serious problem of hydration. So I suggest uh, uh, you can pr uh, prepare the water or liquid uh, just behind you. Uh, uh, every time you can drink some uh, nice high portions of water or liquid. Yeah, this is uh, very good for you know, your uh, immune health. And also the last one, uh, because uh, most of the immune in our body is in the gut. So the probiotic supply is also very important. But for the growth of the uh, probiotics, the dietary fiber supplementation is also very important. Yeah, if you uh, have a, a good results of uh, uh, dietary fiber, uh, because dietary fiber is the best prebiotics for the probiotics, okay? Okay, thank you, Dr. Wang. Uh, we have a fourth question, Brian. So why is immunity our best defense against illness? Uh, from Nonoy Taklino of Iloilo today. And, um, I have a follow-up question. I think this is quite similar to this question. Angela Abad um, uh, of Love Teacher Angel, a blog, um, said, how does having a strong meta metabolism give us a stronger immunity, especially in this time of pandemic? The Both questions are closely related. Yes, they are very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I still emphasize again, um, uh, for example, during the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic, um, I have to say, uh, not everyone syndrome are, are, are very serious. Yeah, I think the the major difference is because of the immune. Yeah, if the immune uh, is strong enough, uh, maybe uh, the subject, uh, the human subject, they can protect uh, themselves well. Yeah, but if the immune is poor, 
uh, maybe you know the syndrome uh, is very serious. So this is the reason why uh, during the pandemic, I always mention that the immunity is very important. But I mean the immunity immune is important. We just maintain a very good immune, but not very high or very rich immune. No, too high or too rich immune sometimes uh, that is not so good. But if we can maintain very good immune, that's very important. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Wang. Um, we have a fifth question. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Among the people in Asia Pacific, Filipinos are the only ones who believe alkaline diet promotes good health. <laughs> what is the truth about alkaline diet? Algunar Chua Business Mirror. All right. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think this is only in Philippines. <laughs> Almost around the world, of course, especially in Asia. Yeah, because, uh, uh, you know, some issue they emphasize, oh, this is alkaline diet. Uh, they can help you, uh, your uh, good health. But uh, uh, trust me, uh, there is no so-called alkaline diet. Yeah, because uh, all the pH value uh, just, uh, uh, just cr uh, around the... Uh, uh, Seven, yeah, and uh, actually, the, our human body uh, has a very good uh, buffering capacity to eat different kinds of food. Uh, but if I would like to say, uh, maybe it's not an uh, alkaline diet. Maybe it's phytochemicals and also mineral-rich diet. Yeah, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, if the diet uh, contains very rich phytochemicals and also very rich electrolytes or minerals, usually they have very good protection uh, to scavenge the free radicals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is only one explanation. Yeah, and, uh, no so-called alkaline diet. Um, not only in Philippines, even in Taiwan, we also uh, can see some kinds of alkaline water in the market, <laughs> but <laughs> trust me, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah because you cannot drink the really uh, alkaline water. Yeah, uh, maybe they have some electrolyte change, mm -hmm. but uh, usually um, uh, uh, all the pH value, they will uh, uh, return to the uh, normal, uh, the neutral condition. Thank you so much, Dr. Wang. Uh, that clears everything about alkaline diet. Um, <laughs> so um, next we have another question, I think, Okay, the questions keep coming in though, <laughs> Dr. Wang. So for the, this question, is there a tolerable limit to the amount of vitamins or supplements that we should take daily considering that these are um, nutrients that our body must have? From Ms. Elsie Holina, Negros Daily Bulletin in Bacolod. Yes, I, I think this is usually a means for everyone. Yeah, uh, if I tell you a simple thing, uh, for most American people, uh, they take a lot of uh, uh, vitamin supplements, but how, how is their health? Yeah, I, I think vitamins and minerals are important, but correct supplementation is very, very important. You don't need to intake uh, a lot of vitamins and minerals. Usually you just follow the labels of uh, um, uh, this kind of products because uh, vitamins and minerals uh, they are micronutrients yeah but they cannot provide energy so of course they can only co-use the, uh, with the normal diet yeah so it means uh, as i mentioned earlier today uh, most uh, filipinos they feel that the natural foods are very good. Fruits, vegetables are very good. Yes, you have to continue to take the natural foods. But if you have a very, very high quality of vitamins and mineral supplements, I also greatly recommend. But every day, only one piece is enough. Okay. Um, Dr. Wang, we are we can still accommodate some more questions. I'll try to um, 
I was trying to uh, read some of them because some questions of our attendees are quite similar. So for this question um, uh, from Gus Cabredo of clickd2.com, um, do you gain weight when you lose sleep? This is similar to the question of Mommy Berlin, um, Berlin Domingo of Mommy Berlin. Um, how does sleep deprivation or sleep disorder alter human metabolism? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, today I mentioned about a uh, very important is the lifestyle. Uh, the lifestyle in actually includes uh, the sleep uh, sleeping quality and also the dietary pattern yeah so um, sleep is very important yeah because sleep uh, actually is the best way for us to take a rest if you have good sleep and also you have very good nutritional supply actually everything will recover very soon so today's uh, our issue is first on immune what is immune immune that is self Self recovery uh, capacity and ability of our human body. Yeah, if you have a, a very uh, good lifestyle, uh, actually, uh, you can uh, well control your body weight, and also uh, uh, you can have very good uh, metabolic uh, process. Uh, I think this is quite important. Yeah. So some people uh, they think, oh, I have a good nutritional situation. Um, the only question, uh, just a very bad sleep quality. So what I can do? Yeah, of course, you also need to overcome the sleeping uh, problem. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, if you only have the, a very good uh, nutritional uh, pattern, uh, it cannot help you a lot. Yeah, but uh, as we know, uh, sometimes uh, a very important association uh, between the uh, nutritional patterns and also sleep quality. Yeah, for example, nitric, uh, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, uh, this is, we can take uh, from some supplements or foods. Uh, it's also very, very helpful to our sleep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if uh, you can um, supply this kind of materials, uh, actually, uh, it can also help your sleep. Yeah, so uh, I have to emphasize again, lifestyle is very important. Yeah, if you would like to have a health, good health, uh, you have to adjust, adjust yourself. Uh, you have to move to a very good lifestyle. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, good thing that you mentioned, Dr. Wang, nitric oxide of Herbalife has that also. And it's, I, I, I personally take that product. It's really good. It helps me in yeah, my yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, we have, we will accommodate one more question because we're, it's already time, but um, these two questions I think are quite similar, but uh, it pertains to uh, ketogenic diet. What are your thoughts about ketogenic diet? Uh, what are the possible risks of this diet? The question is from Mr. Rain De Ocampo of RainCheck and Claire Sanchago of clairesanchago.com. Okay, uh, actually, um, uh, the currently the ketogenic diet is very popular, but actually, uh, this is because in the past, we would like to treat some treasurous patients uh, because the, some ketogenic uh, ketone bodies, they can help to regulate um, the electronic problem of this kind of patients. Uh, but the, for uh, some advanced studies, uh, they also people, uh, some scientists also find that ketogenic diets uh, they can help to uh, maintain the body weight. But you know, uh, because there is no standard use of the ketogenic diet, um, uh, many, many people, uh, they use the ketogenic diet wrongly. Uh, so you know, sometimes uh, uh, they can, they only eat a lot of uh, uh, meal and also very high amounts of fats. Uh, but uh, for our human body, only fat cannot provide our body everything. Actually, we also need a uh, very good uh, portions of proteins. And actually, uh, carbohydrates are important for our health. If you don't have the carbohydrate, uh, maybe uh, you will short of uh, a lot of uh, vitamins and also some kinds of phytochemicals. So it is not so good uh, to our health. Uh, so uh, again, 
Uh, I would like to say, uh, if you would like uh, to have a good health and also you would like to uh, control well your body weight, uh, actually uh, balanced nutrition and very good physical activity are very important. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Wang, uh, yeah. for em emphasizing balanced nutrition and physical activity. Um, I think uh, that's the last question that we will be able to entertain. I'm so sorry for the other ones who are who keep sending their questions. Um, so our time for this is up, but um, we are very happy that you are able to join us this afternoon. Um, we are happy. Uh, we would like to mention also that um, I uh, Herbalife has new products that will be given away, also will be given to the media who are, have attended this event, like our probiotics and the apple um, apple tea, right? Mm -hmm. um, Brian will please show the, yeah, the, uh, the herbal concentrate tea of Herbalife, which is uh, newly launched with a newly launched uh, flavor, which is apple chamomile. So we'll be sending this to your addresses don't forget to send your addresses to our team hannah will be getting in touch with you um once again thank you so much uh dr wang for um the very very the excellent uh presentation that you have given us today uh, very enlightening um we are um we will surely be able to apply it in our daily life um, and then thank you, Shidar, for uh, giving us this chance to have Dr. Wang with us today. Uh, thank you to the media who attended this event. Thank you, Marie. And I uh, will see you again, uh, everyone, to the next event of Herbalife. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Yeah, my pleasure. Bye.